Welcome to my channel. For those of you that are new in my channel, my name is Fatima. And for those of you that have been following me throughout my journey, I want to thank you. And I want to thank you for being here and supporting my channel. So guys, I have a happy mail. Yes. And this year is from Hot Mess Budgets. If you haven't checked your channel out, guys, go and check it. That's one of the channels that I really love watching. So, guys, if you haven't watched, go watch her channel. Guys, in life, there's the good people. And and this lady is good. She, um, I had told her that I don't have a printer, that I would love to get some freebies, but I don't have a printer. Um, I haven't really uh, have a lot of money yet to buy one. Um, nor do I really, um, for right now, right now, I have other things that I need to do. So she offered to send me, and I'm going to take this out, and I don't want to show her, um, her uh, address. And guys, it's a thank you. So thank you to uh, Priscilla, and she sent me, it says here, hi, Fatima. Thank you for being an awesome supporter and thank you for wanting to participate in the collab challenge. I appreciate you more than you know. God bless you, Priscilla Hot Mess Budgets. So yes, I uh, try to um, try to go beyond. I also support all my supporters. Plus, I always go beyond supporting other uh, channels. Um, that's me. I want to be able to help anyone out that I can and I really love your channel and I uh watch it among amongst other channel channels I love your channel too so this she has a collab guys from um her and Mindy Budgets and I forgot the other one um it's Mindy Budgets it's a uh, hot mess budgets and oh guys forgive me i forgot the other one but um she has sent me these which i appreciate um which is fries before guys and then it's valentine's day and then here it's a spread the love and valentine's day savings uh, and they all have the um the little pockets thank you i appreciate it um a lot more than you know i really really appreciate that you sent me this and i'm going to put it into my binder and we are going to be working on this uh challenges uh so guys if you haven't watched hot mess budgets please go to her channel and check her out so guys Another thing um, that I want to talk to you guys about, it's the month of January. What happened to me on the month of January? It, um, some things, it's uh, sad of all the things that we had to endure while I was gone. As you guys know, in December, I came back December 29th from being in Mexico for, for, uh, tw um, for two and a half months. So guys, a lot of things happened while I was gone and a, thing, a lot of things happened when I was here. Um, also, we have, guys, uh, 21 no spin days. But because uh, we, on the 20, 21 from 31, the difference of which is 10 days, there was a lot of spending going on. And um, so guys, you know, it's it's... It is what it is. It's we have to um, endure anything that comes our way, and we have to take care of the problem. I can't be sad over something that's going to happen because it's only going to put my self esteem up, uh, down, and I don't want that. So, guys, I did this, um, you know, my way uh, of uh, budgeting. Um, the doggy means my dogs. I love my doggies. And um, they're like my little girls. And this was here. The pizza was, let me get this over here. The pizza was because we went out for pizza with the family. And here it says, guys, 
life is better when you are laughing. So when I look at this, when I have a problem and I got to record it, I look at this and it's like, it's the truth. You have to, um, you know, laugh and say, well, you know, things are bound to happen and you have no control in that. And you don't want your self-esteem to go down because either way, if you stress about it, you're still going to have to deal with a problem. So I have put my head in um, another way of thinking because as you guys know, I have a lot of stress, anxieties, and panic attacks. So guys, and that's why probably I talk loud and fast because that's one of the problems that I have. And guys, I mean, it is what it is. And I just am not going to kill myself over uh, debt anymore. I'm just going to handle it as best as I can. And that's all, you know, I could do. And then here it says, never be alone. And then here it says, never stop looking up. And guys, no matter what get, tries to get me down, I'm always trying to put myself up and working on different challenges to be able to save and put them into my bigger challenges where I get my money and I can do whatever I need to do or pay something fast or buy something that I need for one of my homes. So guys, um, on the first there, it was a no spend. The second, uh, it was, uh, we went to Costco for $400. As you guys know, I just got back from Mexico, December 29th and my kids are buying a home and they, um, pretty much are, uh, using, they used all of the, you know, the meats that we have in our freezers, plus the pantry food and all of that. They just bought milk and, uh, little things that they needed and they said uh, that they were uh, going to um, use the the meat that we already had because they are trying to save to put a big down payment on their home. So that is okay. We help out each other. I, as you guys know, I live with two of my sons and my daughter-in-law. And, um, you know, I will get into it uh, uh, further into videos. But right now, all I can tell you guys is that... Um, we, when I came back, we needed a lot of things and there was things that my sons wanted me to cook that I didn't have and I needed to buy the, um, the, uh, vegetables or whatever I needed for that special, uh, dinner that they wanted. And so since I was gone for two and a half months, they all love my food and they wanted me to cook and specific things. So guys, we spent $400 in Costco because sometimes we don't have leftovers and I do buy uh, some freezer foods where they can, um, when they go to work, they can uh, use a microwave where they're working and they, um, you know, uh, warm up their food and eat their uh, food there. On the third, it was a no spend, fourth, no spend. Uh, the fifth, it's guys, when I, what I considered for me as a no spend is anything that has to do with going to the store, going eating out, things that, um, you know, that um, I need, but not for home things. Because when it comes to home things, those are things that I have to replace and I have to do. And those are not things that I want to spend on. Uh, so I... To me, that's not a no spin. It's a necessary thing. It's not something that I wanted to spin on unwisely. So um, I paid roses. I paid $1,300 at roses. And I have just uh, on carpet, uh, which I have not that much left over. I have, think I have just about another 1000 And I'm done with the payment on the carpets. Um, guys, I sent in for my visa because this visa is um for the business and i um had quite a bit of money in there and i am making a payment so i made a two thousand dollar payment um on the seventh i went to dollar general and we spent on uh milk and uh vegetables and things that we needed fruit fifty dollars on the eighth no spin nine no spin ten no spin on the 11th, we went again to the dollar uh, store and I spent $40 on things that I needed from there. So uh, we spent $40 on the 11th. Uh, the 12th, no spin. 13, no spin. 14, we went to Walmart and um, we, uh, which was, that was a, 
a Sunday. We went to Walmart and we needed things from Walmart, water and things like that. We spent $227 at Walmart. On the um, 15th, I um, called a &R, which is a uh, air conditioning and uh, refrigeration place, which we had our um, gas, uh, our gas fireplace was leaking, um, was leaking uh, gas and we needed uh, them to come out, but we didn't spend, they just closed it and seen what they needed to come back and do the work. So it was a no spin day. Um, on the, uh, Mm, on the uh, ninth, uh, wait a minute, on the 16th, it was just appointments that I had. On the 17th, we went to John's Incredible Pizza and we spent $37 there. And on the uh, 18th, it was a no spend, but I did, um, I did, guys, uh, take, um, uh, I had to pay $500 for windows that we put in that one of the people that moved from our house when I was gone, they I had to put new uh, windows. So we put new windows uh, there. And uh, this here belongs to this here. So I'm going to um, to disregard this portion here. But we, we paid $500 um, on the... Um, 19th, we just went to the bank to open a business account. We needed to do that because um, we have now an LLC, uh, which um, I had to pay a lot for that, which all my paperwork is done. So if I die, my husband dies, everything is already taken care of. And um, we paid that off already. So I just had to talk to the um, the lawyer and they told me to open uh now i cannot have the account that i had now i have to have a business account so on the 20th uh we went to we went um me and my daughter and my daughter-in-law we went to denny's and we had breakfast and we were there for hours just talking and having uh, a good time on the 21st which right here that's the 20, 20, yeah, no, no, it's on the 20th. On the 20th, which was Saturday, We that's when we went with my daughter-in-law, and I spent $38. I took them out. We had a good time. We were there for hours just talking. Um, on the 21st, we went to John's Incredible Pizza and took the family to John's Incredible Pizza to meet my um, my smaller son, to meet his girlfriend for the first time. We um we uh went to uh, John's Incredible Pizza. So guys, yeah, we we did that. We you know took them all out and we um spent quite a bit. Um on the um twenty second uh, was a no spin twenty uh twenty third no spin. On the twenty fourth, I went again to the dollar store. I needed stuff from there. And the 25th, me and my son, my son didn't work. Me, my son, and my daughter-in-law, we um, went to go fix my tablet. The screen on it was $70. Then I got him some ice cream for the three of us was $16. And then I had to buy these uh, rings, this one and this one here and this one here. We, it's all in silver. So I uh, bought those and they were $90. I never buy nothing for myself. So I think I deserved it and I just bought it for me. On the 26th, no spend. 27, uh, 27th, we went um, to the um, uh, Chinese with uh, was six of us. And I spent $150. Again, with my uh, son's um, girls, we all went with six of us, six adults. We spent $150. Um, on the 28th, no spend. 29, no spend. Costco, we went back to Costco, guys, and we spent $151. And then I went to Dollar General and spent $25, and that was it. Uh, oh, and then my husband was sick on the 25th. We had to take over-the-counter, we had to buy over-the-counter uh, medication. 
plus electrolytes, it was $50. So guys, you know, there was a lot of things that um, we spent that maybe we didn't have to spend. Uh, things like a &R, roses, uh, things like that. We had to, the windows that we had to get fixed. That was quite a bit of money. We had to do that. On Costco, I bought things that I needed. I don't go to Costco as much, but this time we went twice to Costco since for two and a half months, a lot of the groceries was gone and we went and bought what we needed from Costco. So guys, I mean, it is what it is. And I had to meet my sons, um, which he's pretty serious. They're both pretty serious about um about being with each other and I they wanted the girl wanted to meet me and my husband and the family so we went out um on the Sunday and the following um the 27th we went out uh guys sometimes there are things that we have to do because it is to welcome a new member of the family and sometimes you know you have to do what you have to do and so guys we spent a lot of money on um this uh this month but then like i said for two and a half months there in mexico i really on my own spending uh me and my husband we did not spend a whole lot and uh, coming back to um coming back to um our home here in in um in the u.s you know the kids just didn't buy much and they were using what we had and then I, when I came back, I was missing a lot of things that I needed. So I had to go and buy what I needed to buy from the stores. So guys, um, you know, it is what it is and it's pretty good. I mean, you know, some months I might spend more and some months I might spend a little bit less. But um, overall, we had 21 no spin days. Can you imagine if some of these I spent money on? I mean, it would have been more than than what we have here. But, you know, guys, at the end of the day, um, you know, money goes and money comes. And um, I can't excuse myself, but some things were very important that I needed to do. And, guys, you know, life is like that. You know, hopefully next month will be a lot less spending. So, guys, that's all I had for you for this month of January. It was, um, it was a catching up month for paying bills. Uh, plus, um, you know, plus other things, you know, that we had to do. But guys, you know, at the end of the day, life is like that. So here, guys, I'm going to spin, since this here is my folder for challenges, I'm going to put these challenges here. And guys, uh, this is the collab that they have. And guys, let me tell you something. Um, you know, uh... There is nice people out there that are willing to do things for others when others can't do things for themselves. Like me at this point, I don't have a, um, I don't have guys a um, printer, so I can't print the freebies. I see you guys when you guys show me freebies and I wish I could have them, but guys, you know, it's, you know, I can't do anything about it if I don't have a printer. And um, so, guys, sorry about that. And we'll see you guys on my next video. Goodbye.